Well, if you're wondering how it is in New York State today, take a look. Take a look at our sky. Can you figure out what this is? I mean, do you really need a guess? Is it that hard to figure out? I mean, our skies are infested with man-made chemical contrail white haze. This is bullshit. What's going on in New York State? I mean, if you took away all man-made white haze, we'd have a blue sky and a sunny day. This is horrible, what they're doing. This is not natural. <clears throat> Let that sink in. You know, there's a lot of idiots out there. I used to be one. When you're an idiot, you don't like to face reality. You like to believe everything's going to be all right. You're in your own little bubble. And you just can't face the facts of what's going on. We are under assault from every direction. They look at us like we are, I don't even want to use the V word, like, like humanity is a virus. Operation Solar Shield is upon us. Climate change is bullshit. It's not climate change, it's the prophecy of God. They just want idiots to think it's climate change. Look what they're doing. This is all man-made white haze. Look at that. I mean, do you think that's natural? Do you really think that is a natural occurrence? We have waves of chemical contrails in the sky. That's all chemtrails. They're horizontal here. You can see, you can see them. They just spread out into this white, horrible haze. I pity people. I was in an argument with a family member of my brother-in-law, and he tried to tell me Einstein was a genius. So I said, "Why is he a genius?" He couldn't tell me why he. He believes he's a genius because that's what he's been taught. It was actually hilarious. Because he couldn't tell. I asked him what relativity was. He didn't know. You know what he said? Well, how was your phone made? What fiber optic? Okay, I said, are you nuts? I actually called him a fool, of which I ap apologized later. But that, that's what people do. They don't answer your question. They dance around it. Look at that thing going through. There's a huge chemical contract. They're all over. They're right there through the sun from 10 o'clock into 12 o'clock diagonal. They're all over. All of these, everything in the sky is man-made. All this white haze is man-made. It's not natural. You see this crap? You see that? This is what they're doing in New York State. It's horrible. It's a crime against humanity. Crimes against the earth. And all last night on YouTube it was all UFO. Wall Street Journal, UFO, Fox News, UFOs. I, I just couldn't believe how many videos. They are prepping you people for deception. You people are being prepped for deception. 
Right now, for the last 80, 90 years, they've been mixing animal genome with human genome and making all manner of abomination. Okay, and some of these liars of scientism think they're going to enhance man, which what they call transhumanism. Okay, but this is abomination. Okay, I'm not going to say, look at this crap, man. We got rainbows in the chemtrails. Isn't that something? This is terrible. That's spreading out. It's all spreading out. You got a large one here that's spread out. All these horizontal ones, diagonal. It's all chemical contrails. And when they do this, I think they're hiding something. I know the moon is... I, I know where the moon is, but it's blocked. It's right up in here. And they do this when the moon is out in the daytime sky. But they're really come trailing the sun today, so... I don't know what they're trying to hide. But it appears as if they are trying to hide something. You know, maybe something becomes apparent near, near sunset. You know, maybe ten minutes before the sun sets. I don't know. I don't really follow Nibiru or Planet X. I don't believe in planets. I believe that these things in our night sky are, are lights. Lights that have no mass. Okay? They're not terra firma or solid. The things they say about the pagan god Mars, which they named one of God's lights after a pagan deity because the heliocentric model is an idolatry. That's why it exists. It's the exact opposite of what the Bible says. Okay, and when you read Psalms 19.1, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Scientism puts forth and teaches everything that contradicts that. And that's why they name all the lights in the sky after pagan gods. They, you know, eight, 90 years ago, in 1910, 1920, 100 years ago, they taught that the earth was flat and that the sun and the moon traveled around the earth. Around 1940, 1950, when the Nazis came over and escaped being tried and convicted at the Hague for the war, war crimes they committed, they came over here with Werner von Braun and formed NASA. And that's when they started telling lies about outer space being a vacuum and that they went to the moon. You can't land on the moon. And that's why they're telling people lies about landing on Mars. I, I don't think they could deceive everyone into believing they'd land on the moon, or they would. So they got to pick a place that's too far away for to be monitored. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to see no light traveling towards Mars that they're going to call a rocket capsule, Orion, whatever. You know, I mean, all you have to do is zoom in on Mars, the, the pagan, the pagan uh, Mars. I hate using that name. Because Exodus, I forgot the verse, says not to have the name of pagan gods in your mouth. And that's another reason why they named all the lights after these pagan deities to, to get you in trouble with God. Because the word of God says not to have these names in your mouth. So every time we call out a, a name, a, a light in the sky, we're going against God. When you say I'm going somewhere on Wednesday, you're paying homage homage to a false pagan god, Wooden. And Thursday, you're paying it to Thor. And that's why they do these things, to contradict the Bible and God's Word. Okay, when you see what's called a shooting star at night, it's not a meteorite or debris. Look at its trajectory. It's not even coming from the region called outer space. They're going parallel over the ground. You see how that blends in? They're shooting lights. They're some type of electromagnetic discharge. Like I said, some people believe their spirit's moving. I don't know. I know the Bible says in, I believe it's Psalms or Proverbs, that each star has a name, that God calls them by name. Okay, and they're not the names these parasitic, parasitic liars of scientism call them by. Look at that. 
This is, this is what the sky is comprised of. All chemical contrails. And I promise you that there's trillions and trillions of this type of shit raining down. This is it. This is what rains down at night that I notice. This stuff right here. This brown stuff. You see that? That's what it is. I have some bagged up for to be analyzed when I get back home in Rochester. But look what they do. And there's a freaking rainbow up there. Can you see that? I believe that's from all the metallic strontium, barium, and, and aluminum particulates that they're spraying. I mean, this stuff literally stays airborne all day. It spreads out. You can see the lines of normal sky in between a little. Those are the chemtrails. The white is the chemtrail, and the blue is... It's just... Look at that. There is a big a rainbow metallic circle around the sun. Look at this garbage. The whole sky is riddled with chemtrail, contrails. Scumbags. I know what they're doing. All oh, chemical contrails. That's not normal. Are you effing kidding me? That's that's heinous what they're doing in our skies. Anyway, soon, next month, they are going to be releasing a report that was passed into law during the second sim stimulus package to release all classified UFO information. It goes down next month. <clears throat> I don't know what they're going to say, but it looks like they're prepping people to start believing in aliens. I mean, the military is releasing all types of videos that they, they're they saying they don't know what it is. It's going 12,000 miles an hour, then goes underwater, 400 knots. I mean, some of the sailors probably believe it's from another world, but it's... I believe it's all lies. Any ship you see is man-made. It's just classified technology they haven't told us about. You know? And it could be spiritual, these lights they're seeing. Or craft. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know, for a fact, there are no other worlds. I know the earth. I know the Bible says that the stars that God made were for lights for the earth. For lights... Uh, signs, times, years, and seasons. Nowhere in the Bible does it say he made these stars to be suns for other planets and other galaxies. Okay, the Bible doesn't say that. He made the moon for the earth. That's why we only see one side of it. That's all the only side we need to see. It's for the earth. It's not for to have a dark side and all this. Why do you think we don't see it? It's not because of some tidal lock by gravity that cannot be directly detected itself. You believe that gravity is holding down everything on the outside surface of a giant ball, but they it's only a theory because they can't directly detect gravity itself. They can only throw and shove down your throat its alleged effects or results. And <laughs> nobody... These idiots don't find that the least bit strange. I mean, electricity is real. Magnetism is real. Field and current. It's not even doing 1% of what they say gravity's doing. And, but we can't directly detect gravity itself. Not by current, field, wave, beam, or ray. Alright? And I don't care what version of gravity you're talking about. Newtonian or the, or the liar, plagiarist, scumbag Einstein. Curvature of space-time is stupid. I mean, if the mass of the Earth, which is just another word for weight, they make up words to confuse you. Weight and mass are the same, just like fat and obese. They just use it to deceive you. Look at all this shit. This is all man-made, sprayed out of airplanes. Does that look like it's dissipating? Stupid person. It's not. It's doing what it's designed to do. Spread out. 
into this garbage in the sky. I mean, you'd have to be, you have to be in complete denial not to understand what is going on. Look, you got upside down rainbows. Just great. Okay, gravity, there's no device, there's no instrument, no man that has ever directly detected gravity itself. Google it, they'll even tell you we don't know what it is. We just know what it does. And they're scumbags. They're scumbags because they know the truth. They know what's real, what can be demonstrated, what can be directly detected. And they know what cannot. And everything that goes along with their giant spinning spherical water world is all based on theor theoretical nonsense. Artist renderings and conceptions and animations. Go watch your favorite space documentary. I guarantee you it's 99.9% .9 animation. This is horrible what they're doing in our skies. You wonder why birds and bees are dropping dead and disappearing? Are you stupid? Look what they're doing. Look at that. It just they, it doesn't dissipate. I got video of normal contrails that almost immediately dissipate and disappear and disperse. Yet you fools think there's a infinite and expanding vacuum above your head that directly violates the second law of thermodynamics and entropy. Okay, if there was an infinite vacuum above our heads, it would consume all the oxygen and gas on the earth. Do you realize an infinite and expanding vacuum, the scale of what that would be compared to your spinning ball earth? The spinning ball earth would be like a grain of sand <coughs> within an infinite and expanding vacuum. And that vacuum would rip, tear, and pull away all the oxygen and air from the earth. And gravity, if, even if it was real, could not contend with an infinite and expanding vacuum. The earth would be like a grain of sand within it. Okay, when you have gas, like, like I seen on Nathan Oakley, they're showing experiments from the 50s, a guy standing there with two valves connected. They're separate, two vials, one has a gas in it and the other side is a vacuum and they're separated by a valve. When that valve is opened, the, the vacuum consumes the gas immediately. No temperature change, no nothing. Okay? And that's what happens. And, but you want us to believe that uh, somewhere out in outer space that, that these laws that we can demonstrate on Earth are contradicted and no longer apply? That's bullshit. You're stupid. You're being deceived. I don't know what the earth is. I follow the Hebrews' ancient conception, but I don't know. I know it. I know I'm not on the outside surface of a giant spinning ball. I know we can't be going around the sun because right there, at the top of that tree branch, the North Pole Star Polaris is there every night of every week of every month of every year, and it. And I watch the Big Dipper perform circles around it and there's no way we're traveling at 66,000 miles an hour around the sun otherwise Polaris could not always be in its same position night after night week after week uh, time-lapse star trails showing perfect circular stars going around Polaris could not be so they would all run into each other if the Earth was also traveling 66,000 plus miles an hour around the sun. Okay? And people are just so stupid they don't want to realize that. Look, at, look how that spreads out. It's doing what it's designed to do. And it's terrible. All In conclusion here, we are being sprayed like bugs. And next month you're going to be treated like bugs. If they produce an alien on the stage, it's probably a body abomination made in a lab, a spiritual demonic entity within it. There are no other worlds. 
And for you people who believe in Yeshua, Jesus Christ, HaMashiach, never mind, hold on to your faith. Never mind what you see and what these liars say. There are no other worlds. There are no other aliens. The, the, the true aliens are from the earth. They're demonic entities from the earth, expelled from heaven. And that's that. Well, that's going to be it, people. In New York State, we're being sprayed like bugs. And most of the bugs don't even know it. And the ones that do don't care. Aliens are demonic entities. Impersonating aliens. Know that. Know that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, HaMashiach is true. And one last thing. Don't get, uh, don't get it twisted. When I stick up for Israel, I don't stick up for the billionaire Jews controlling our media, scumbag Satanists. I'm not sticking up for them. I know they're evil, and I know they're the cause of a lot of trouble, these scumbags. But I can't blame a whole nation. Israel's the Holy Land. And, and I worship the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Israel. And his son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, HaMashiach, a Jew. Okay? So I know the God I worship introduced himself and made himself known through Israel, through Abraham and his seed. And if you're familiar with the Old Testament, if you're a Christian or fake Christian, I don't know. But God gave the Jews, Israel, Palestine. And, and because the, everyone in Palestine were worshiping false gods and burning their children to Molech and other gods. And God said the earth was going to vomit them out. And God said the same thing would happen to Israel if they didn't obey. And they were swept away into captivity a few times because of disobedience. But God said that sooner or later that they would come back to their country. Okay? Now you can go into all this stuff about impersonator Jews. I'm out of that. I can't verify any of it. I'm not there. But I do know that that land is for Israel, and I worship the God of Israel. Now, there's a lot of corrupt Jews, and there's a lot of Jews who hate Jesus. And when I run into them, I try to tell them about their Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, HaMashiach. And I refer them to Isaiah chapter 53, which is pretty blatant. You know, talking about Jesus Christ, in my opinion. But... There are a lot of evil Jews, yes, that control our media, that own it. I acknowledge that. And on both sides, they're committing atrocities against each other, yes. But it's not just Israel. Palestine, ha Hamas, and the PLO, they're, they're guilty too. Okay? And that's just the way it is.